Chuggalos, welcome back. Welcome back to day four of the advent calendar. And I told you guys on day one, day two, day three, I had a surprise. My first surprise is I'm going to be drinking today on the mothership with my best friend, Chuggalo Mike. Say hello to the Chuggalos. Hello, Chuggalos. Yes, it's me. I'm back. I didn't wear the scrubs this day. So just, I'm, I was, we didn't even coordinate this. We're kind of orange today. We, we, uh, right. We didn't, one, we didn't coordinate it. We spent the last hour. I was trying to, that's why I was doing the, uh, the, the mic. I was trying to figure out the technology to be able to use my soundboard. The only way I can do it is if I take my headset off, stick it right next to the microphone, but we're, we're, we're going to do it this way. I think this is going to work out. It, it worked. worked out. I was, I was digging that intro music. I like it. I, and it, see, again, good feedback. Once I got the volume dialed in, because there was like the first couple of episodes when I got the stream deck, the volume was way too high and it drowned us out. So now I have it dialed in pretty good, especially when I'm able to use OBS. It is fantastic. So uh, what are we drinking today? Today. Today we are drinking the the second surprise is the original Ritter Guts Goes. This is a German, the first goes ever made. And you can find out more. We're going to go with the crack because this beer is, uh, it's, first of all, it's what uh, Mikey craves. It's, it's, om it's almost a bomber. So let's go with the crack. Mikey, what are you cracking with? Uh, I got this nice little, whole, it was uh, made for me by one of my th 3D, 3D printed, 3D printed, one, right? 3D printed yeah. I'm using the antler because this is the closest I got to a deer this year. It's using this. Yeah, no deers. So here we go. Three, two, one. All right, a little off. That's on me. So this is a goes. Again, the first goes ever created. 4.7%. So I can drink this. We're a little bit later in the day on December 4th. And we both still have to work tomorrow. But I'm going to drink it straight from the bottle because I'm an animal. Yeah, he is pretty wild. I'm gonna go with my my glass. I gotta, you know, gotta have your gimmick, right? So I'm gonna gotta have your gimmick. Give, give Steph has his gimmick. See, 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 yeah, we're I'm, I'm still waiting for. Well, yes, yeah, Steph. I thought you said Seth for a second. I was like, he's no. gonna get. You know, Seth, Seth's gimmick is he just drinks all the beer. So, anyways, I've been talking for weeks and weeks and weeks about this beer. Why this beer? Why today? Why everything? So a couple weeks ago, we all got together at the cabin and I'm handing out calendars. Well, then we decided that it was going to be uh, dicks out time and we we're going to just start <laughs> trying to one up each other with beers and it got aggressive. And so that night we put uh, Chuggle Ryan, uh, who's a part of the Northwoods crew, who's done a video, uh, a lot of videos for us in the past with uh, his wife, Michelle. Um, he passes out. So anyways, the next morning we're getting up and we're going to try starting with lighter beer. Seth, who we've talked about, uh, maybe one day we'll get him on. He's had more beers than all of us combined. Yeah, and that's we not... totally should get, get him in here one day. Right. He goes and grabs this beer, and I jump on him. And I'm like, Seth, we can't be pulling beers from the advent calendar. He goes, what do you mean? I haven't even looked at the advent calendar. Oh, yeah. What are the odds that he would pull out one of these bottles? He got it at Total Wine and More in Minneapolis. And, uh, Total and you got yours in Dayton? I had our friends at Barrel House, who are, who again, Barrel House, we are turning the, this is, we are shaping up. Uh, again, I don't, I don't like looking forward, but I'm going to be drinking with uh, Chuggalo Mikey. His birthday is coming up here on Friday. So Thursday night, we're going to watch some Thursday night football. Heck we're yeah. going to have a couple of beers. We got some bangers coming up right for his birthday. Yeah, this uh, one is is far and wide. I like to look at you know the untapped stats. It looks like there have been thirty six thousand unique check ins. So I guess it doesn't surprise me they got some in Ohio, some in Minnesota where we found this. All over the place. So, anyways, you can find out more about this beer if you go to Leipziger because it's from Germany. So L E I P Z I G E R hyphen goes G O S E dot com. And uh, if you can't read German, throw a uh, backslash en backslash in there for English. And it goes, Ritter Goes is the oldest existing Goes brand in the world, originating in 1824. 
Our Ritter Goes is the old style beer specialty of Leipzig, in Germany, brewed to be authentic recipe of the traditional method. It's won several awards. Mikey will tell you probably not in the last hundred years, including gold medal at the um, World Beer Awards and has been twice named the world's best goes. That's impressive. I guess if you've been around that long, maybe you'll grab some of those. The world's first, huh? And uh, if you go and it's got what is a goes, so I'm not going to read it all. It's a it's a it's a word soup. Um, it was first mentioned by German Emperor Otto III at 983 to 1002, somewhere in that 20 year period, over a thousand years ago. That's who wild. praised its flavor. Um, again, and I consider uh, it like you know, it's a sour, but a lesser sour with possibly some salt, you know, added to it. That's what I imagine it goes to be. And that's the standalone feature of this beer is it's a sour German beer brewed with salt, which comes through and spice. The spice is who knows, um, you know, they, they also make, um, help me out. Uh, what's the shots that we do up North? That spice. You want some Jägermeister spice? Jägermeister. Jägermeister. That's like, st- uh, that's like a, um, star anise or what it's yeah, like some, some licorice. licorice yeah i don't know if that comes through on this but i'm getting definitely getting the salt <laughs> so salt is something um when we were growing up um we would go out with older people or whatever that would dump salt into like their miller light or their bud lights just to waken it up a little bit i've never yeah, done it i probably could see the appeal yeah that's not a bad idea typically when you're drinking like that, you're just eating salty foods anyway. So maybe that's where your salt intake is coming in. Right, right. Yeah, you get the pretzels with the salt. I mean, I guess that makes If you don't have pretzels around, you just grab the salt and just dump it right in. Huh? That seems like something old people would do. <laughs> yeah. So, so Mike, you haven't been able to, uh, you've been um, off uh, gallivanting around the state trying to crack people's skulls open with, try, uh, try. with cards. Cardboard. What what do you think so far? This is day four. What do you think so far of the the first couple of days of the uh, advent calendar this year? Full, the full advent calendar looks like the first two were were pretty, you know, down the line, kind of ho hum, just regular regular beers. Nothing t- nothing too exciting. Uh, I like the yesterdays, but I'm a big you know IPA fan. Whippa, Nipa, you know, discussions aside, I, I like all the IPAs, so that was uh, a a good one for me. Yeah, that that seemed to be dynamite. Uh, I've had multiple people uh, in our in in the group again, sixteen different calendars, reach out to me and go, "Where can I get that that uh, oh, third yeah. eye?" And so it was, multiple uh, people. And I have been, you know, keeping up on your. I like I said, I like to watch the show when I get to drink the beers with you. So I, I did I, when when you read it out loud yesterday with the the third eye PA. I was like, "Oh, I get it now." I did. It just didn't even dawn on me until you, you spoke it in, into the words. When when you when, when you read it, and it, again, you see that genuine reaction on camera because again, I was like, it, it just you know, like a ten watt light bulb went off. Yeah, I but, the same thing. I did, didn't I, like. I just I didn't even read it to myself. I just looked at. It, oh, there's the third eye. Hmm, sure, whatever. But it's I, the third IPA. <laughs> again, my my only knock is because especially with IPAs, I want them in a pint can. Uh, with sure. apologies to like truth and stuff, and we do have another third eye coming up. It's a Kolsch in the middle of the month. Oh, damn. Uh, but but I'm I'm. Looking forward to it. Kolsch is, you know, definitely not one of my favorite. But uh, again, once I start buying beer again, because the fridge is pretty st- stocked with the calendar and multiple trips down to the barrel house. <coughs> Sorry, Stacy. I don't. Um, they they will them and other half as t- tip in my hand a little bit are like the top two that I'm looking for now when I'm looking for a sour or something that, you know, I can crush for over a period of a week or two. Yeah, I know you bought many, many calendars. Now, did anyone like go back on their calendar? Is that why your fridge is so full? Or... <laughs> <laughs> because a... I saw you, you had a good picture of that with your trunk, and that was a that was a lot to carry. And that that wasn't even all of them because I couldn't fit them all in there. Did anyone go back on them? No. Um, okay. My so no, my had to go. my theory is going to be that Seth will, won't do the calendar again next year. Okay, we'll take some bets on that. Um, maybe, we, we could, we could definitely, every, everyone else I think is in, um, so even, you're, so you're saying you're, we're at 16 and now we're yep. going to go up next year too. We're going to go up and I'm glad you Damn. brought up, num- 
That's why. Right. I, I will be at 20 next year. Because okay. there was two there was two people I had to turn away. And you have um, people you said that are just friends of friends now getting these. Yeah. So Team Smoke Show, and she's in because it's beer that a lot of it's Ohio centric just because of where we buy. Um, they're beers that she can't get readily available. And her and her husband, I guess, get stuff mailed to them if I yeah. was if I was catching it right, which is amazing. I do the same thing. Uh, it, it, it's a great way to get it and it's not as pain of, I'm again, I'm letting other people build it for me because I trust other people's beer palettes more than I trust my own. Yeah. I appreciate the, the Ohio ones cause, uh, I can't, you know, readily get the, some of those too, except for those duplicates. So maybe next year we'll have to untap them first and check that, or, that, or do you not, or do you not want to do that? You, do you, do you go in blind and be like, I, I, this one looks good. I, I, I like, I like to go in blind just because uh, it, it's all a game to me, and I'm just trying to be like honest to the game, if you will. Sure. I know I've tip, tipped my hand because we were kind of looking at the list going on um, a, a little bit during pre-production, but I still try to be honest with it because it's it's fun to me. Like, granted, we're not punching like I I bought you guys like actual punch out like advent calendar things. But no one's fridge is big enough to. Yeah, we we didn't actually use those. It was just a box that sat there until we threw it away. But it, it was a good idea. It's a it's a fun gimmick. It's just hard to um, it's execute. hard to execute. Yeah. The, the the one thing, and you're talking about numbers, and we're bearing the lead. We should have left off. We hit a hundred subscribers. It's oh, yeah. been fast. It's been vacillating back and forth. I like, know. I saw the ninety eight. I was like, we're pretty close. The other day. I I. I, e- I emailed JT. We were at 99 this morning. We went back to 98 and I was like, ah, somebody's toying with us. And then, <laughs> and then he, he emailed me today. So JT's out on the West coast, uh, taking care of important things. And he's like, Hey, we finally hit a hundred. So right, I, right. It's four ju- years. So that's jubilation like 25 years or so. That's yeah. Just all over. Just, just do the Gatorade thing. <laughs> yeah. All, all the celebration. Well, congratulations. It certainly wasn't any of my doing, so nice yeah. That's Are very, you, you're very persistent. I was thinking about this today, and you've done this almost, you know, about 10% of your life. That's wild. You've kept this yeah. going <laughs> every week. <laughs> now, that, that makes me feel old. Um, mm-hmm. When you say you, I, <laughs> when, when you when you say I can't thank you for any of it, are you not subbed? Oh, hell yeah, I'm subbed. Okay, okay, good. Oh, this is like, got to be the first one. <laughs> That's that's what I, I I wish I knew who the hundredth sub was because you know. Oh yeah, we could give them something. Yeah, that'd be great. Good prize. Again, like if you sub that in the person last... that unsubbed, not you. Yeah, <laughs> and again, it vacillates back. And you know, we're we're not gonna be um we're not gonna be for for everyone. That's for sure. But like my my in laws were down here for uh, Thanksgiving, and they were getting upset because uh, on Facebook, and I'm militant about putting everything on Facebook. It wasn't notifying them. So like I went through like all of their settings and I don't know whatever algorithm or whatever, but they were subbed and everything. It's not like yeah, the algorithms trying to get you. It's fine. And they're like, we're, di- aren't you doing episodes anymore? And then I said you need th- to get the the shorts or, the, or where it's at because you know Stev gets all them views. <laughs> well, plus one, Stev's really really good looking. Yeah, he's, Ste- he's a rock Stev star. has a lot of friends. Uh, you know, he gets a lot of commentary or whatever. And I those are the first ones I click on. I love I love the Stev reviews. Great. Thanks. That's my best friend, everyone. Well, that's it yep, for this episode. Yep, I'm, yep. I'm done. Hey, you'd I mean, you're, the, you're the second one. I like you, you'd rather li- like, okay. I like some good content. Sorry. I like some good <laughs> oh. He. I, I like how he's like, uh, I have some music going on in the background. I hope well, I don't and, get well, I, I really, I really do like the, the music. I, I enjoy that. I. It, we, we thought it, it's just so tough finding stuff that's not copyrighted that like fits what we do and doesn't take away. I just yeah. really like that intro song. I agree. I, I tried to make some videos and upload them last year, and I, I I don't know how you guys do it every day, but I uh, I got I got the digital rights got me that one time, and I gave up. I was like I, I was trying too many things. Yeah, because uh, I, I'm just inspired by a lot of the Twitch guys that I watch, guys and girls that you know have mm-hmm. their 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 stream deck going, and you know all of the bells and whistles and everything. Eventually, I want to get to that. You know. I'm buying, you know, now I've got a ring light. It's the cheapest piece of equipment ever, but, you yeah. know, enough, enough people complaining on seeing my dimly lit face. Yeah, you're looking, looking nice today. 
That I don't know if it's the ring light or just the, that goes that you're having in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's and the thing that so when we shared this up to the cabin, it was four of us on this bottle. So it went. It's still going quick. I mean, I've got yeah, nothing. Everyone's got a glass. And I've, yeah, I've got it's, nothing it's, left. That was a good time. Split well, one of those. So going going back, is there a beer that was the most memorable for you? Because we had, I I calculated. <clears throat> I, I wish. Think, I wish I, think I was, it was like six hundred dollars in beer. Just yeah, I wish I was more of a, because so to put this in perspective, uh, to to use Untapped, I have to go to the window in the cabin because it's a tin roof cabin <laughs> and it blocks all the all the Wi-Fi and anything you know the the cellular service that I would get. So it's, yeah. it, it it it's very annoying to do this. So I I didn't go back and check a lot of them in, uh, but yeah, that that's the what you were referring to the string of stouts that put OC under. Those I, I had two of those in my mind were both 5.0s, but I don't know what they were. I probably could go back and look at your feed, but uh, those were some great stouts that we had. I think I think one that you were really high on was the boysenberry stout. Was it yeah, the was, sour stout? Yeah, that was that was fantastic. But yeah, we'd have to go back and 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 check them out. Because I ju- certainly put that in the comments. Yeah, I jumped on Seth on that one. Because Seth was like, ooh, this one's only a four or five. And I think Ryan dug it. And then we went back and forth because, again, we just started trying to one up each other. And I'm good for the next couple of years. Like, I've got bottles like earmarked um, to come. Yeah, to come I wish up, I was uh, ready north. ready for you guys. I usually get them and I, I have to try them. Yeah. But those were those were fantastic. I'm going to I'm gonna have to see if he I makes, can play with the big boys next year. He, <laughs> make, he, he makes me up my game. That's for sure. Yeah, it was it was sad. It was only the one night with all four of us, but that was a great great night. Well, we I mean we started the next morning, but yeah, it really was the stout. Yeah, the, yeah, we did we did finish her off, the, and, but and not the, too. Early. It was it was too early for for too much fun. And the, and the fact that the the hardest drinker and the guy that we've had we have the most stories and being able to rebound was the first one to pass out. <laughs> right, he's he's usually egging everyone on, and and he's off starring in the corner. And again, it, it was such, I, I, I know you're a fan of flights. Ryan's a fan of flights. Seth is a fan of flights. Everybody's a fan of flights, but you. Okay. It, essentially, essentially, we just had flights that night, except we were drinking from ridiculous cups. I was drinking from a coffee cup, but that oh, yeah. was the, it was the best way to do it because we wouldn't have been able to have as much as we did the smorgasbord of beers. It, it sounds like you like flights to me. No. You just don't want to, you just don't want to admit it. <laughs> as long as I get my big, my big, my big deal coffee cup. All right. Yeah, that was, uh, I wish, I wish we had a picture of that here and been, and be good. Well, I left it yeah. up there. That's going to be my coffee. Hopefully yeah, it was, hopefully it was, it, it was pretty silly to watch you drink from that the whole weekend. I don't, yeah. I don't know if there's a picture of me drinking from that. I don't think there was many pictures taken. No, your dad, your dad, your dad took some, but. Oh, All right. good, more good to times. come. More to come. More, more to come. Like, like you said, when we were when we were drinking this, we're like, oh, I was like, oh, there's just one beer, and you're like, isn't it the mothership? Should I? Been. I had no idea. I was not prepared for the mothership. JT, where are you? Help me. <laughs> uh, we're again. We're we're keeping it go. Like when I did a couple of episodes by myself, that that was part of the part of the magic. Uh, because Steph goes, you can do it. And I just wrote down like a couple of thoughts. Like I didn't even write anything down. I just was gonna let everything happen I was, organically. I was taking your lead because I, you know, that's what I did when I created some last year. I had, you know, a list of things I wanted to talk about, and I think that's easier to follow than to shoot from the hip, really. Yeah, but that's what we're doing today. Be- because I could bring up like, uh, you know, I have the list. We could do like a pre of the next week uh, up until what's a week from today, the eleventh. So that Drecker is going to be the next one. So this next week, we're heavy on what should be straight fire. I know you're not high on tomorrow's winter ale, but you can't, as I say, you can't have the sweet without the sour. And it's nice to have like a break, like because if it was just IPA heavy, because the guy that actually puts the order in actually kind of looks at him just to make sure that we don't have. And he's not a sour guy either. Um, yeah, I used to. I just I don't know what happened. My palate decided it didn't like sour, so this one's already not the that, best. That that's Saturday beer. That's gonna be that Avery, that uh bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. 
that's the one that has the gold foil top to it that avery yep that's uh that's trademarked right there I, I, if i see that i know it's an avery it, it, it's crazy because normally and uh barrel house aka sarah said this one and th- it was like the first one she picked out and she goes i was like an avery beer really and she goes trust me so uh in in sarah i trust for sure because yeah i mean i get there's some fine to me there's some dynamite stuff plus on the 21st i'll tell you this because I, we're gonna drink multiple times throughout the month and record on the 21st we actually have a collab beer that she helped make i don't know wow, if she used her own hands cool. or whatever but the 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 21st that listerman barrel house is an actual collab between the bar and the the brewery and listerman's out of cincinnati very cool so, well, i'm looking so, forward to that yeah so we went ohio 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 germany thus far so we're, we're putting on the miles i don't even know where Duranke is i'm gonna have to do some research for that for tomorrow's episode i look forward to it all right so i guess what do we got so, for for ratings here what do you go think? with go with your we oh and we were checking we purposely because after i jumped on seth's ass for pulling a beer from the calendar i said <laughs> Don't rank this. Yeah, we we did not check it in, so no one we, no we did one not has check had, it in. no one has had this to our knowledge until today. Yep, but we, we, we did, admit but to but it, we, but we, we did ch- we but did we check didn't. it in. Right. Yeah. So True I'm story. done with it. I I killed it. I got a little bit, but uh, for, that's big for you the, for the, a sour. The, the viewers want to know. The viewers want to know. What do you and got it, to say? And and as we've and as we've uh, pointed out, this is widely available. Um, Seth picked it up all over in, the place, man. In, in, in Total Wine up in Minneapolis, where a lot of our listeners are, uh, Chuggalo Dave's up there. And that's this is pretty not, wild. This is not since a Chuggalo it, Dave beer, though. It's a, since it comes from Germany, that's uh, pretty widespread. Yeah. Uh, well, it's the original. They they had two hundred years to figure out distribution. They nailed so, it. So uh, so Chuggalo Mikey. You can go first with your scores. Oh, you want me to go first? All right. Well, I want you're going to be first. very disappointed. So as a baseline, I think a goes <laughs> is probably like 2.0. So I give this one. It's, it's definitely, you know, drinkable. It's got the the spices, as you say, with the, I, I don't know if it's star anise, but it's, it's got a little spice, a little salt. Um, it's not too sour, so I I don't have to, it's not, I'm not like puckering up, um, punch in the face sour that you like. But uh, mm. I'll give it. I'll give it a, a two point seven five. Two point seven five. Okay. Um, and and that's fair. That's you know high praise coming from somebody that turned his back on sours. Yeah, I um, didn't pour it out, so it's fine. Off the top rope, it's it's interesting. The story, the story's a five. Um, because I got very angry. I was like, <laughs> "You're you're ruining the sanctity of the." Um, it was pretty funny. I didn't I didn't realize how mad you were. I was like, "He just ripped that stupid calendar open and just started drinking it." Yeah, um, but it's even more hilarious. It's even more hilarious knowing that Seth won't watch this, but um, I'll make a comment. Exactly. Um, he will not. Off the top rope. This is a really good goes. I like my goes with fruit. There's no fruit in this. The salt isn't excellent. I, I can't pair the spice. If it is, the spice was maybe, there's hardly any spice, you know, be it herbaceous or anything like that. Not not spicy, like hot, but any any sort of like baking spice or anything like that. I don't get that at all. Um, the salt is there because it makes you keep drinking it. So uh, a smart, even the Germans back in the 1800s were like, how do we That's sell true. more of this? That's why I'm still going, I think. We'll, we'll we'll pour salt in it and um i dig it if this is the original they set the benchmark good or set the bench set benchmark good uh, yeah uh, they, they did it they, that, that is the benchmark um first one but it it was nice that like when you go to the netherlands or belgium or whatever they started putting like fruits in it or whatever and started even though it's a little bit of a jump from a goes to a lambic i can see the kind of the relationship there and why mm-hmm. i like them Sure, um, just throw some fruit in there. Call it a yeah, good baseline. Um, it would be interesting to you know pair it with some salt and some fruit or whatever. Get, give it that 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 sweet and savory pairing. Off the top rope, I'm going to go with the three seven five on this. Um, All right, one notch above mine. 
Good. It, it's it's nice to have it on its own because as I described to you guys up at the cabin, it was just a murderer's row. Like once we had one beer down, there was somebody else walking out to the freaking porch and coming off. Like it's hard to keep up. Hard to keep up. Seth's bottle looked like it was pulled out of like an old wooden ship. That should have been my first case. Like it was dusty. Oh, uh, 100%. It was it was it was hanging out there for a while. He 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 actually gave me a bottle, um, which which I which I will do. Um, I don't know when. Uh, but he's like, yeah, here you go. Here's just a here's a here's a bottle for your own for your own doings. But uh, no, this is again exciting, exciting, exciting times. Um, I, I I I love doing the advent calendar. It's even better when I have somebody that I can bounce it off of. And again, yeah, it's been great. The fact that I knew maybe, it was gonna, maybe Graham wants some too. <laughs> the fact I knew it was going to be a mothership episode. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't change it. Like the list had already been. The die had already been cast. Again, <laughs> that's why it's like I have to get. <laughs> that's my godson, Chuggalo. So that's yeah, he's super just awesome. Chilling around. Uh, see, um, Brew Crew Podcast. We're for kids. Yeah. Um, we're, Perfect. We're, that, that, don't use that tagline. <laughs> awesome. Oh, this was this was my starter beer when we were doing oh, so. Anyways, perfect. oh man, those still exist. That's wild. Uh, I got you another. Have, you didn't have the peach ones. Um, I have one peach one left. Um, Ryan, I, Ryan never gave, never tried one yet. No one had one when I was up there. Ryan gave me another rack of blapples when I was up nice. north. Nice. I I good I hit that. He's, he's other, good at squirrel and stuff. I hit it. Otherwise, I knew. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My dad would have crushed that. It would have been gone. So well, Ryan Ryan did donate a rack to the cabin, but it was gone. That, and that's that's four, where that's where they kept getting those from. Yeah, that makes sense. four hours. But yeah, this was this was the one. But I still had fifteen cans or whatever from my last rack, so I haven't broke into his rack yet. Sweet. But anyways, right, we got anything else for the Chuggalos? I mean, I I I feel like I've got a lot of stuff. A, a lot of it, I w- I want to save one for your birthday. Your the preamble because your yeah, birthday. We got- we got 24 days of this. We got we to save it up. Four days. We got it. We're, gonna, <clears throat> we're on. We're only on day four. Day five tomorrow. Day four. So again, I still think we're on an upward trajectory. Those first two days, again with the repeat and whatever. Agreed. Yesterday was a banger. I I I like this. I know it's not your, but it's a nice change of pace. You know, it would have it w- it would have been different. No, um, I, I agree. It's a nice it. change of pace. It's excellent. Chuggalo Mikey, closing words, closing thoughts. I do have some closing things that I would like to say. So, so, so Matt has, has graciously, like my birthday is in, uh, like we've alluded to in a few days. They're also Christmas this month, which is the whole advent calendar ordeal. Uh, but he has gifted me this box of 24 beers. So I have also bought him something I would like to, to show you since he's not coming back. Up here, I want to. I got, that was I got a you something. Tactical and I, question. And this I want. Not, and I want. I want to see. I want you to see it. I want. I want to capture this. I'm gonna hit stop recording. <laughs> no, no, no. So this you is get, not. You, so you got my gift, and you didn't wrap it and do anything. So I did the same. So I'm gonna show it to you. I don't know when you're gonna get it. I just don't want you to buy it, right? This is a beer podcast, right? Yeah, this is a beer podcast. Got what is beer. this? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> Holy shit! Where did you get it? I called around, so I, as you know, I've been you know grinding people, as you say, yeah. with the cardboard. But I, I called around about a dozen places up there when I wasn't. So this oh is my your, god, this is your fancy new thing. That's awesome. But this is uh the Utopias. Wow, hard, hard to find. They only make it every two years. So that's awesome. I have it, Thank I have you. It here next time you're around. Is it gonna go? Is it gonna go bad? <laughs> uh, so from what I've read on their website, it does not go bad. It does not go bad. Else. So twenty-eight. That's percent. awesome! Wow. <laughs> well, thank you. I. Uh, All right. I just yeah, wanted to get that now, capture. <laughs> I wish I knew how to edit. I would edit out some yeah. of this and make right. make myself look more manly. Perfect. That's yeah. awesome. All right. So excellent. Next time you're around, that's that's all yours. I'll try not to drink it. I'll try not to. So uh, I just, I, I, I just drank it here. Yeah, it pretty There's much a says on the website that you, you, you know, you just like pour it in a little shot glass, try it, you know, wait next year and try it again. You know, it's it's one of those sipping type things. OK, so 
which reminds me, okay, I want to recover on a story and I'm glad that number one, thank you. That's awesome. I look forward to that. The first time I had 120 minute because you'd had it before you took me to a place where we knew it was going to be out in the wild. And I was just, it, it was, you know, years ago, but, um, you're like, maybe we should share a bottle. I was like, I, I make decent money or whatever. So yeah. I bought us each a bottle. <laughs> yeah, that, not a great idea. Yeah. Then that's when we got hooked on the brewery. It was the same day. Yeah, I'm go, pretty sure I had what else do you one, have? 120 with Seth. So yeah, it's all all the the friends with their their fancy Cause, brews. Because now I have I do like the brewery. Year. Yeah. Uh, again, Reserve Society, if you ever... If you're ever looking for a way to blow, you know, 350 bucks for the year or whatever, the Reserve Society is amazing. But for 120 minutes, I think I just did an inventory. I think I have at least one bottle from 2016 going forward. Ooh, I actually just awesome. bought, I for your favorite, um, I just bought a four-pack of Worldwide Stout. Awesome. I, yeah, Dogfish Head is one of, one of my favorite ones. I've never, I've never seen it out in the wild. So I just happened yeah, to buy the last four-pack while, that... But... Barrel it's hard to find. Had. Hard to find. I haven't found it in in a couple years, I think. Man, I'm sometimes I'm, they have it on tap at like the Milwaukee Burger Co. But it's the only time I ever get it. I I I, I called around to like three different places. I even talked to Sarah at Barrel House about the Utopias, and they got one bottle for the entire store, and they split it. Yep, they had amongst. they had one bottle, and and I, I drove about twenty minutes from the the venue that I that, that I was staying at. Cause, and then I got there and the parking lot was all gravel. It was like, it wasn't in the nicest neighborhood. So I was like, why did they get this? But they were the only place that had it in Minneapolis or St. Paul, I guess that I could find. Oh, that's good. I, I know Seth, the kiss isn't going to watch that. If it doesn't get open, I mean, I, I obviously, it's well, I mean, it's, it's yours. <laughs> I, I, I know, but like, you, you know how we do our bottle trot or whatever you yeah. could go back out onto the porch and do the bottle trot or it, it, like i said if that weekend in april works out it'll be here for you oh goodness well because i know well, you'll be in minneapolis but i don't know if you can take that on a plane probably illegal uh <laughs> i you know it's contoured so i could i could i could keister, i could keister it i can definitely get it to you but uh, i don't know if you can get it anywhere else that, that beer is number that i guess you could check it you could probably check it Oh, oh yeah, I, I would take my shoes off. And then, uh, <laughs> wow, what a roller coaster! All right, awesome. I'm glad you like. It. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm a fan. I'm gonna edit out my reaction, but that was not <laughs> cool. <laughs> well done, thank you. But that's it. That's it for episode. Oh, I didn't even say it. That was episode 257 because this is a mothership. I didn't put that at the beginning. Oh, damn, this is my Again, first mothership. If if be, JT, be nice. if if JT's not here. The the all the shit falls apart. At least I got the right number, not not where oh, I had to awesome, edit his awesome. or whatever. But uh, episode two fifty seven, uh, we've got another twenty days of these going forward. Looking forward to it. Say goodbye to the chuggles, Mikey. Bye, chuggles. Cheers.